Oh, I found the album to go with the t-shirt from the last one. Anyways, this is the, uh, let me show some of the old albums from back in the day. Yeah, we don't listen to records anymore, but, uh, the wifey's still got a few. Fairly torn up. But, uh, yeah, love the big boys. That was live on stage. Anyways, the fanzine I'm doing, this guy's anti-gay, so he's got some FAGs in here, but I'm going to give it up to being a youth, you know, that he was just a young, dumb kid. I believe this he's in here. Parker Slater. And, uh, anyways... Well, let me do this a little slower so you get a nice, nice first page. It's a great artwork. Now I wonder how much of it he copied and pasted, you know, photocopied. Front cover is nice, heavy stock. The inside is paper stock. And pretty funny stuff. That's some of the early ones, one of the better ones I've seen. Well, he had lots of ads. I guess he figured free ads, so nobody's going to complain. Again, I don't know who did the artwork here. Whether it was him or... It looked like a harmonic or rusty something. It was five pages long, so... Take it all apart and show each page to Big Gulp. So this is the back and front page. I'll hold this up in case remember to view this on YouTube.com because uh, if you look at it on iPhone app or on the iTunes app, it's uh, it's probably fuzzy because it just doesn't give that great resolution. But uh, go to PC or a uh, a uh, you know, Wi-Fi connection, and uh, YouTube.com gives the best resolution. Whole different world compared to those first two. And we're getting on in a little minute, so I'm gonna try and go faster here. So give you a complete view. Like I said, it's a cool fanzine. I'm sure a lot of them got folded up and used for this or that, wedged under a speaker, uh, wrapped some smoke up in for somebody to take away. <laughs> but uh, my wife, he saved all this paperwork. And uh, great stuff. Fun. Fun Town, there's a movie called American Hardcore that uh, really speaks to the time and that it was a, a community. It was really nice people. I think we were all fairly damaged. I've always been a misfit since a little kid and never fit in. Even though I didn't, you know, I got along with people, I just, it wasn't my world. So I think that was really a kinship back then. And I started the Oaf House, which uh, was a Mexican-American fraternity. And the wifey had been in the scene since she was 14, so I guess Tim Kerr came to her for photograph for the 10th anniversary of Big uh, Thrasher that the big boys were in. Well, anyways, check out the next ones, and uh, I got two or three more, and then I'm going to redo everything and do some slideshows, so you get plenty of chance to look at all this early punk stuff. And we're not, uh, punk's not dead, we're just old.